Hello, Total Fitness family. My name is Tammy Betancourt. I am your group exercise coordinator, instructor, and a trainer in all our clubs. I am here today to show you the technique to set up a spin bike and your form on the spin bike. So technically, you would come to the side of the saddle. An instructor should be able to help you with this. You're gonna bring the seat right to hip level. So as you adjust the seat, you're going to unscrew the back of the bike, pull it out, and you'll set it to your desired number. Mine is a four. Now on the back of the bike, we have a slide. If you have a longer torso, the, the seat might want to sit back a little more. If um, you have some hip issues, I do find having the seat back a little further may help you. An instructor can help you with that. I tend to like my seat a little further back. So the next step would be getting into your stirrups or clipping in. If you have spin shoes, you're gonna put your spin shoes on. And I'm gonna put both of them on, that way we can clip in and go over a technique of the bike. So some of them have, some of your spin shoes have dials where it will crank a little tighter where your instep is. And then these have Velcros. These are a little different than if you were a street rider outside, the clips are different. So if you're going to purchase a pair, and I would say if you're spinning a couple times a week, it's a good investment to pick up yourself a set of spin shoes. We have clips on the bottom. So I'm not sure if you can see right here, but there's a little clip right there. Coming into the clips, you would straddle the bike. Have a seat on the saddle. When you clip in, you almost like you can go toe down clip, toe down clip. So you have the clips in. If you need to get out, and I always tell anyone who's getting out of the clips, hold this brake down, wiggle out of the clips, bring this down, and wiggle out of the clips. Now, if you were using the, the straps, the stirrups, these stirrups have a belt on them. So you wanna get the toe in, you wanna pull up tight, and then feed the strap right through the loop there. If you needed to get out of here, you would pull this out, and then you're just pulling down on that clip. So that's part of getting your shoes, your sneakers into the clips, whether you have clips or if you're using regular sneakers. You do want to use a sneaker with a hard sole. So our next step would be setup. An instructor can help you with this. So you, you don't want the knee trapping over the toe. You want to see your toes. So coming down about a 25 degree angle there, you can see that the weight is hanging over the center of my laces. Um, it doesn't have to be a fishing hook weight. Um, and your instructor in class should have what you need to set you up private um, perfectly, or it, you know they can pretty much eye it from the side. So moving on to moving on the bike. Red and white dial is your resistance. It's left to take off, right to add on, and then you press down on it. It's, this is also a brake. Your front wheel is loaded by 40 pounds. The fly, it's called the flywheel. Some are running on bands, some are running on weight itself, but it's still weighted. So don't ever try and stop on your own or else you're gonna have a knee or a hip issue. We try to prevent injuries. So going on to pedaling. Position one, hands are folded. Hips back in the saddle, nice even circles in your hips. So you wanna maintain 
flat foot on the pedals. You want to feel the road underneath the wheel. Feeling the road is going to ensure that the flywheel is not taking your knees. So nice even circles. We're going to add on. With each bike being different, you'll have to judge what you feel 50% halfway uphill is, 25% on that flat road with that slight increase off the bottom of the hill. So position one. Now, then we would take it to position two. You need resistance to come out of the saddle. The resistance helps support your body weight. So we add on some resistance, feeling a push and pull here in the saddle, we would stand, standing run. So this is position two for hands, flat foot on the pedals. So we would ease right here, ease in back to the saddle. Position one, or hands could stay right here. Wherever you're more comfortable with that. Then position three is a standing climb. We use it to transitions from positions. So you would need a little more resistance for three so that your hips are over the saddle, chest over the bar, and even circles in those hips. Ease in back. We have what's called jumps. We will transition from one position to another. So I'm gonna do mine for you in eight counts. Up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, saddle. And up. And saddle. And then flat root right here. If you need to stop, we're going to press down on that brake, coming to a complete stop. Now our handlebars have a slide. When you're here, you want to have a slight bend to your elbows right here. Hips are back in that saddle, flat foot on the pedals. So you just need to keep that little bend. You don't want to be here and you don't want to be all down here. You need that slight bend. That'll help with pace. Now working the resistance. We, I like to use a percentage in our resistance, so I'll use 25 to 30% flat road, coming off the hill, 50%. What you feel like is 50%, we're halfway uphill. We're going into a push right here. We could go full hill barely pushing those pedals. Now what we want to avoid is a whole shimmy shift drive of the feet. Try to keep those circles even in your hips. Let the core allow you to push. Pulling back, hit the brake, and then you will be at complete stop. Hold it down, release it from clips or stirrups. We don't stretch on the bike because it puts pressure on the pedals, especially if we're doing stretches that you stand on the bike. So you can do seated stretches, some upper body, and then we'll come off the, off the saddle. Be sure you're safely out of the saddle. And then we'll continue some stretches on the floor to end your spin class. Most classes are 45 minutes to an hour. I hope this helps you with spin bike technique. Uh, we are running Pedal to End Cancer coming up May 1st. The registration link is on our webpage. So if you'd like to ride an hour, two hours, three hours, um, register. It's a great cause and it's a super fun time for our clubs. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.